Konnichiwa minasan, my name is How you guys doing? So, it is two weeks, almost about two weeks before Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, it's pretty soon. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. So, today's video, we're gonna talk about holiday shopping. At some point, either you, you have to buy a gift for someone or you want to gift yourself. I figured I try to help you in your shopping needs. So, if you're into kawaii fashion or know someone in kawaii fashion and are looking to buy kawaii holiday gifts for someone, then I'm gonna help you. There are many resources, many online places where you can get kawaii things. Thanks to mainstream media making kawaii more famous and popular, it's actually a lot easier nowadays than it was five years ago. So let's start. I actually have notes for this. So pretty much I'm going to try to guide you how to holiday shop for your kawaii needs. First thing on my list that I thought if your someone or the person you're buying um, a gift is into Lolita fashion, try purchasing a gothic Lolita bible or Fritz magazine or a Kara magazine, or even the newest magazine, Melt, which I made a video on before, uh, for them. You can actually get Gothic Lolita Bibles on Amazon and on eBay as well. You can get Fruits JLB on Amazon, so I definitely highly recommend that. And I'll show you as well. Amazon, if you just type in Gothic Lolita Bible, you'll see uh, a few selections where you can get some Gothic Lolita Bibles, there's a few volumes. Honestly, if if you know this person or the person who is who you're buying the gift for, see what volume they don't have. Um, and then in terms of Fruits Magazine, you can also get it on Amazon as well if you type in Fruits Magazine. Uh, so just scroll down and then you'll see different volumes. They're not expensive at all. They're probably like 20 bucks. Uh, the only thing is shipping might be a little bit it might take some time, so please, if you want to purchase them a magazine, make sure to give it ample time to come to your home. Next on my list is Kawaii Box. So Kawaii Box is a monthly subscription, kind of like Loot Crate. It's just a box full of kawaii things that they put in there and they send out each month. So you can actually purchase a Kawaii Box as a gift for someone. You can just purchase one month subscription, three month subscription, six month subscription or even a whole year subscription. Now obviously if you're gonna purchase this as a holiday gift for someone, you're just gonna buy the one gift subscription. So you can go on Kawaii Box, learn more. Um, I believe it's about 20 bucks or $18.99 a month, one of those, it's not that bad. And in the box they get lots of random Kawaii things from Brie Lakuma, uh Sanrio in general. So really it's a really nice surprise for you because you won't even see it aside from probably if they post it on Instagram and social media um, and the person receiving this gift will get a lot more kawaii things in their life and who don't want kawaii things in their life <laughs> so next I have on my list is makeup so if this person uses makeup you can get gift cards gift certificates at Ulta Beauty or Sephora or if you want you can maybe buy them a blush or see what they or you know, ask them, hey, what kind of makeup do you like? If you want to ask them as a gift, you're trying not to surprise them. Uh, me personally, I buy makeup from Japanese brands, um, and I also do buy from Sephora. More, I buy more of the eyeshadow palettes and such from Sephora. I even have an eyeshadow palette from Forever 21, and it's really, really good. So if you you can go through uh, different stores for makeup, not just Sephora or Ulta, because those tend to be on the more expensive side. And we ain't got baller money like that. And a lot of times, Sephora, Ulta, Beauty, you know, they sometimes will have sales online. So you can check those out and see if you can get a gift card. I highly recommend a gift card more than getting them a whole eyeshadow palette because I don't want you spending $45 or $50 on an eyeshadow palette that, that your person might not even use ever. <laughs> okay, next, again with Amazon and eBay. So, you can buy Lolita things or Lolita S things on Amazon and eBay. Now the only thing with this is that you need to be careful what you're buying. So if you type in 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 Amazon, if you type in Lolita fa 
fashion shoes, you'll get Lolita S shoes. So, showing you here on my phone. Scrolling through, you'll see different varieties of Lolita S shoes that honestly could work. So if you have a goth Lodi friend or a sweet Lodi friend, uh, for example, these pink shoes here, they're really freaking cute. Now again, you have to give these things time for shipping, especially from eBay and Amazon or pretty much anywhere on the internet because you know, it can, it might, if you have Prime, that helps a lot for Amazon at least. Um, and then here on Amazon at least, and here, you know, there's lots of good options for Lolita S shoes and no Lolita is with, no, you can never have enough shoes basically is the point of this. <laughs> So then, there's actually there's a lot of good choices on Amazon, in my opinion, for Lolita shoes. So if you want to go that route, I highly recommend it. Again, just make sure that you're looking at the shoes and you're seeing the shipping time and you're seeing the you know the price because you know you don't want to go too heavy on it and you want to make sure it's in their size. So ask the person what shoe size are you if you're gonna buy them shoes. So on eBay, you can see some good selections too. For example, these, they're actually really freaking cute. Um, I think they're like 40 bucks. They might be from a Taobao seller, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so you can find like good options without resorting to ordering from Japanese websites. You just have to be more careful and be more wary of what you're buying because sometimes you know, it could be a bad seller and you don't realize. So make sure you check the reviews of the item if there's any, or even reviews of the seller as well. And another good option, uh, if you want to buy Lolita pieces, such as clothes and such, um, you can try Lace Market. It's pretty much like a, a second-hand um, selling website. So, for example, if someone wants to sell a dress that they don't wear anymore or like anymore, they can put it on Lace Market and probably someone out there will want that dress. So. You can buy from whole one pieces, JSKs, wrist cuffs, socks, shoes, whatever. Again, with this, the, the shipping. So if you're getting something from Sweden, make sure you order early, as in like two weeks ago, to make sure it comes in in time, depending on shipping. So I mean, I would, if you want to buy more brand uh, for cheaper, I definitely recommend that, or even through like Facebook groups. A lot of times, the leaders will actually have a wish list, a public wish list. So for example, um, myself and my Lolita friends, they have like a public Facebook wish list. So pretty much it's a compilation of photos of dresses that they would love to have and love to obtain, but either A, it's really rare, or B, you know, they just don't have the money for now, or C, they just don't find it online because it's rare. So A and C are like the big reasons. So if they're smaller pieces, maybe you can get it um, for them. Um, again, a lot of times wish lists tend to be a little bit more pricey, so I would gear away towards that unless you have the expendable income for that. So next, there's actually a few Lolita brands with stores in the United States, such as Angelic Pretty, Baby It's a Star Shine Bright. So there's one in San Francisco and New York City. So then you can directly purchase on the, for example, San Francisco and they're like pretty or a baby one even so if you see anything that's in sale that looks like something that your little friend uh, might be might like you can get that and it'll come within a week or so time since it is in the United States the store so they shipping it directly in the United States to your home in the United States again this is the United States I can't if you're in if you're outside the United States, I'm sorry, this might not apply to you. <laughs> and usually around the, this time of the year, there's lots of sales going on. You know, Cyber Monday happened, Thursday, or Thanksgiving happened too. So there might be some leftover sales. So if there's anything in there that you think your little friend might like, I, you know, I wouldn't, you can check it out as well. And I do like Pretty and Baby have stores in the United States. So that might be a more cheaper option than having to use a shopping service to get something from the, the Japanese stores. Um, and then, if your friend, for example, is into like other fashions other than Lolita, uh, for example, Liz Liza has an official eBay shop. So as you can see here, um, they have like their official li official Liz Liza site, free international shipping. If you just go on eBay and type in Liz Liza, that'll probably pop up. 
So this is more of Himekaji or like casual Alita if they're into that. Um, so you can see if like other brands have like an offic official eBay. Not many do. Um, not many. And if you want to get something from, let's say, Swan Kiss, you might have to use a shopping service for that. But again, that'll take a little bit more time. So you might want to, if you're trying to get something within two weeks, um, maybe just not, not do, maybe just not do that. Um, and then another good place to get holiday gifts is actually Tokyo Taku Mode. So as you guys know, I like Hatsune Miku and. Um, I've gotten items from them. This isn't sponsored, I swear. I wish. Um, but Tokyo Takuma has like a big selection of J Fashion. So if you go to the homepage, you'll see a J Fashion tab, and then just click on it, and then you'll see a lot, a lot. That mind, there's a lot of there's a lot of sold out things because it's actually that good. But like for example, there's like a Swan Kiss Lucky Pack going on sale in Tokyo Takuma. Now it's like a hundred dollars or something like that. So if you want to go that route, that's fine. If not, that's okay. There's other stuff. There's also like cute plushies that you can get them. A lot of kawaii things that you can get the to the kawaii person that you're give, getting a gift to. So that's that's also a good viable option as well. And they do ship in the United States. I believe from like Cincinnati or like LA. I don't remember. I know some of my Miku stuff came from like Ohio or Oregon or something. So I don't know. And then you know if you're if your little friend or a kawaii fashion friend is is into anime, for example, or any other hobby, they're more than welcome to have those gifts. So for example, myself, you guys know I love Hatsune Miku. Lots of my friends have gifted me Hatsune Miku things from figures, charms, book bags. Recently it was my birthday and my friend gave me a bag that, my Hatsune Miku bag that I actually lost when I was in Japan on my way to the airport, so you know, sad face. And then I pretty much exploded when she which you gifted me from the book bag that I lost in Japan, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, so stuff like that, you can get them things that are not Lolita inspired or Lolita related if they're into that. If they're not into the anime or whatever, that's fine too. You can probably get them cute things. For example, Michael's Arts and Crafts, the big arts and craft stores in the United States. Um, you can get them really cute little charms and stuff. Like I've gotten like, for example, I've gotten like these things from like meetups and they told me it's just from Michael. So like, you know, little cute decorational things that you can have to make, to spice up your room, make it more quiet, your, your vanity. These are usually on my vanity, so they're just there to for decoration. Since you have about two weeks left before Christmas, I hope some of these resources will help you. Um, again, if you do want to buy stuff from Japan, uh, make sure you do it ASAP because uh, a lot of times, because shipping is a lot busier, things get delayed. So for example, if you want to buy things from Swimmer, make sure you do that shopping service ASAP. I hope this video helped you out with your holiday shopping for kawaii-ness. So if you know any other places where you can buy kawaii things, please let me know down in the comments because I always want to know what you guys think. Um, I enjoy my interacting with you guys. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!